What's up guys, Spin Firearms here, and today we're going to talk about my most carried firearms of January, and why exactly I carry them, where I carry them, how I carry them. Obviously, as always, my FN 503, for years and years now, this has been my pocket carry choice for work. It's built like a tank. I get that it's a single stack, but I'm telling you the durability of this firearm compared to these Micro 9s out here is unmatched, even compared to like a Glock 43. Um, the, the lightness of the Glock 43 and the weight of the FN 503 is what separates it from me. This thing is built like a beast. It's built like a tank, and it shoots like a tank. That extra weight really helps with its shootability. So even with a 6 plus 1 pocket setup, I know I'm not in an environment where it's a high chance of me getting a self-defense encounter. So I feel perfectly fine with 6 plus 1 because this thing's reliable. And I, you got, I'd rather get caught with it than without it, basically. Um, so I'll carry anything that uh, fits my needs for that situation. Anyways, Walther PPS M2. I get this is an older carry option, um, but it's always been a firearm that's caught my eye. And I think it's been the looks mostly, but I've also heard nothing but great things from Walther. Now, if they offered this in a double stack or stack and a half micro nine, once again, I'll be first in line to buy it. Walther, please do that. I know I was talking to someone in the comments about it. Um, we need it from you. That'd be absolutely awesome. Now, here's the weird thing about this firearm. This is the LE edition. So it comes with the phosphorus night sights and three mags. This is an 8 plus 1 setup right here. Here's what's weird about it. The trigger was 7 to 8 pounds to start off with. That's what it felt like. I didn't gauge it or anything like that. That's what it felt like. Through hundreds and hundreds of rounds of dry fire practice and shooting it at the range, this trigger is now at 5 to 6 pounds. I don't know why, but I got on some Walther forums online, and they said the exact same thing happened to their PPS M2. It just needed a break-in period, and that trigger gets better and better over time. So not only is it as crisp as it first was, but now it's lighter. It's an amazing trigger. It's Walther quality. I trust it, and on top of that, it's ergonomic as can be. Love this thing. I get it's a single stack, but this is my around the house, doing chores, shoveling the snow, um, going to the gas station, you know, just running a quick trip real quick. Um, this is the way that I go. Now, anything else outside of work has been these two firearms and outside of my house. I even carry this around the house as well. This is my Glock 26 build. Love this thing. I'm not a big optics person, but I'm getting into optics more and more. It's a budget optic that was sent for free, so I'm sort of testing it as well as carrying it and getting used to it and so on. Anyways, I've put hundreds of rounds through this thing already. i got to clean it. It's getting sort of dirty on me, but it's been reliable as can be. The red dot's awesome. Shot it in pure cold, um, and it holds up. It runs, and it doesn't lose zero. Um, this is honestly my favorite carry setup right now, my favorite carry option. I wish I could carry it 24-7, but I can't simply because of work. And also, I like having a lighter option just for simple things. But this is my carry if I'm going to the store, you know, if I'm going to the mall, if I'm driving for a long time, you know, anything that is like me leaving the house for more than 20, 30 minutes, going with this thing right here. Now, also one that a lot of people wouldn't suspect that I've been carrying a lot lately is my Glock 26 build. I mean, my sorry, my Glock 1923 build. Sorry, I'm so used to saying Glock 26. Right now, this has a conversion barrel in it, so it is 9mm, optics ready, combat armory frame. Now, I don't. this is probably the one I carry the least out of all these, but I have been carrying it. I've been carrying it outside the waistband, inside the waistband, um, always concealed, but I love this firearm. It's less comfortable than all these other options right here. But the ergonomics are on point, the texturing is on point, and it's been reliable shooting 9mm out of it. Love this thing, it's got my favorite sights on it, Ameriglow cap sights. You can't go wrong with a 19, that's what I always tell people. You'll hear me sort of bag on the 19 a little bit, you'll hear me say it's too big, it's uncomfortable, because for me it is, I can't speak for you guys. But carrying appendix with a 4 inch barrel is uncomfortable for me. So, I like to keep the lightest possible package, but still know it's reliable. Um, and has a decent round count. I can get away with six plus one. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. But this right here, obviously I love this thing. Beautiful build, it's really growing on me, and I have been carrying it. Mostly for review purposes, a lot of people wanted to know about the combat army frame, if it holds up, and also how accurate and reliable are these conversion barrels, and not a single issue. So anyways, that's my Glock 1923 build that I've been carrying a little bit here and there, but the least out of all these. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Thanks for watching.